everybody, it's your crazy Bingo Shime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, sir. <sighs> what a week it's been. This morning, obviously, we woke up with some good news about Horizon Forbidden West. If you haven't checked that video out on my channel, please do. It's the first one on the upload list at the moment. Um, besides, obviously, this one. <laughs> but um, it has been a very hectic and emotional week, so I apologize if the energy is a little bit lower than usual. Um, unfortunately, Melbourne's back in lockdown because of a few cases and um they're trying to obviously avoid it rising i think we're all only at like 30 at the moment which is better than usual i think touch wood it's only 30 it could have like went jumped to a higher number by now but thankfully it's okay and if this lockdown goes to plan hopefully we're not going to be stuck in another lockdown for a long long time so thankfully it's we've done it quickly and we've gone and done this very quickly so anyway enough of that let's jump into this reaction of bad batch episode 5 at the moment there is no title obviously i'm watching it like on the dot so there isn't a title at the moment obviously when we watch the episode we will see it um but yeah i'm excited um obviously fennec is in the show finally as you guys know fennec is one of my favorite characters she's absolutely amazing and i i just like it's so good to see her in animated form and to see like the response that people have been having and even Mignol Wen opening up and saying like you know this was such a big opportunity and to be back in animation just in general is just amazing like that's so cool and just so wholesome i love her so much and i love fennec so it's so nice to see her in the world of star wars but anyway we're gonna jump into this episode and yeah i'm excited to see what they have in store for us today before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Echo, what's your position? Okay. <clears throat> it's not a toy, Omega. Aw, Echo. Be a little nicer. Why are we going to order low? Old Mintel. Well, while a bounty hunter's after you, we need to find out why. Ooh, nice. Rules. Don't wander off. Keep my eyes and ears on my surroundings. And trust no one but myself. Aw, cute. Yeah, They've given her like a... Oh, they're giving her like a rundown. So like a tutorial on what to do. Cute. I like that. They trust her a little more. We encountered this woman on Pantora. You know who she is? No, but I know a bounty hunter when I see one. Mm. Find out who hired her. That depends on what you boys do for me. That's true. My favor, take it or leave it. Grab a kid from a fuse like Garians. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't double cross them, because many of them do. But she seems pretty honest. <gasps> His head's still hurting. Oh, pause. Because even I was wondering about like why he didn't complain about it post making the room. Was that the episode? Yeah, post making the room in episode three for um omega because then he was per perfectly fine and i was like did he get better i was like oh okay then that's probably nothing then but the fact that it's still hurting i think it has something to do with his chip so i'm guessing he's either getting pain from it or maybe because of the hit maybe it's like lodged it out of place or maybe ugh, that would be really weird but um mm. I wonder if Tech will finish that scanner he was making and we'll find out. And maybe Wrecker is going to be the example. Not Because I said last episode that Crosshair, or the episode before that, that Crosshair, like, they might fight him, capture him, and then use the scanner on him. But I think if Wrecker turns a little bit, eh, eh, they might use the scanner on him instead and then save his life. Um, and then do that for the rest of the clones, whether it's just the Bad Batch or other clones. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, because obviously we still have so many episodes to go through. Um, I guess we're going to find that out along the way. So it's going to be interesting. I'm in. What are we waiting for? You get back to the ship. But... That's an order. <laughs> Hunter, let her help. Yes. She's going to be rebellious. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh, uh, what is that? Yeah, Omega's going to have to go and help. Oh, 
That's cool! I didn't know you could go through there. That's sick. Sneak away. Dude, this creature is cool and the use of shadows is awesome. I love that. <laughs> you should fetch a nice price. The Republic outlawed slavery. We're not in the Republic anymore, Skunk. Ooh. That voice sounds familiar. I was unlocking. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it wasn't that kid because he's got like a parent there with him or like an adult like caretaker. Oh no! Oh, oh thank god. Oh Hunter! Oh yes Hunter! <laughs> She's kind of cute up close. She is cute. Nicely A big, yeah. big lug. <laughs> of Java's right hand man. <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. But someone like her and have been at it's interesting. A bounty hunter of Fen Excalibur being after you. The sellers must be pretty valuable. Don't worry. I'm good with secrets. Oh shit! Oh nice! That was like how long was that? Oh, that wasn't that long. It was only 22 minutes. Damn! Nice episode, though. I actually really enjoyed it. Wait, this seems like a... Is there a lot more credits than usual? Oh, no. There's no cutscene after that. Cool. Um, that was, as usual, great episode. Actually, I actually really enjoyed it. And again, this show is proving, like, how good it is at pace. Because, again, I've said this before, and I said this especially in the last episode. Pace was not their strong point at all in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. And even in some episodes of the Clone Wars, some, some pacing wasn't the best, but majority of the episodes for Clone Wars was some of the best, except for Season 7. Season 7 was the worst pacing ever. But now they have it down to, like, the T. Like, especially with these short episodes, very well done. They know what they're doing. They've got all the main points of the story in. This is, yeah, I love this pacing, and it was a good episode. Um, so they're getting into bounty hunting. So we are going to be seeing, I'm guessing, the underbelly of as we know, the Star Wars universe. Um, sort of like what we've seen on the scene of, like, Din Djarin, obviously the Mandalorian, we've seen sort of the underbelly in that. And then we will see that probably with the Boba Fett series at the end of the year. Very excited for that. But, um, I think with this, it's not gonna be as much. I think the, the clones, especially Bad Batch, that I think they're gonna try, especially with Hunter, I think maybe it's gonna get to a point where they need to trust this lady again. What's her name? Oh, Sid. I, I forgot. I was like, S Sydney or something? Sid. I feel like they're going to have to trust Sid again in the future. Maybe not in terms of like maybe Omega getting captured or anything, but maybe like when they're running out of money again, they're probably going to have to go to Sid. Or maybe if they need new weapons or anything, they're going to be like, okay, we need to get a new job and get some credits from Sid. So I think that's great. And even I was worried because I was like, oh God, like with some bounty hunters and like clients you like we've seen in like the Star Wars universe, they tend to backstab them and give information easily. So that's why I was like, mm, especially for a good price. So that's why I was like, oh God, if someone pays her a lot of money, then of course she's going to speak and say either about the kid or even just about the Bad Batch in general. So um, 
I'm glad she didn't. She seems like actually a really interesting character, Sid. And I hope we get to find out more about, like, her as her story. Maybe not, but, like, maybe we see her get closer to the Bad Batch and she sort of becomes very protective of them. I think that's going to definitely happen. And we're going to see relationships being formed throughout the rest of the series um, in terms of friendships, etc., and who they're going to trust. Because, again, this is sort of a game of cat and mouse where they have to be like, who do we trust? Who do we don't trust? And, like, who do we let in on all the sort of, like, the the, the inner circle? Um, which is very hard. Especially with the fact that they struggled with that even with Omega to a certain extent. But, overall, they've been really good in terms of teaching her and even just, like, letting her in on certain things. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be interesting in terms of the future of the series. That's going to be really good. I think it was great to see Omega in action again. We did see her in action the previous episode when she had to go and get the electronic part from that animal. I can't remember what it's called. But um, we did see her in action a little bit last episode because of Fennec. But in this episode, it was nice. Like, she took charge of herself and she obviously knew that the guys were in trouble and she wasn't afraid to do it. And usually sometimes with certain stories, they usually, like let them be afraid, like, female characters be afraid and not do it a lot and keep them to the side. But in this case, I was really happy to see that she was able to sort of, like, get out of that stupor, realise the situation, try and get in contact with them, and then move on to trying and helping them. That was really good, and I love Omega so much. I've always said it throughout all the episodes. She's great. Um, and I, I love that Hunter, though he's very protective of her trust that she can get the job done, especially, like, when she was sneaking around, like, he could have easily had said, go and hide, or something like that, or just, like, do a head gesture to go away and let them handle the situation, but instead he let her, like, get involved, and his first priority when they got captured was, we need to signal Omega, so that was good that he actually thought of that instead of being like, okay, let's just keep her out of the loop and let's try and figure the situation out by ourselves, so I'm glad that we got to see him sort of do that, and even throughout the episode, I did notice, I never got to comment on them because it just went by so quick, but um, even with Echo, like, I noticed, like, he's very protective of Omega, like, I think he's more of the person who doesn't, like, say it out loud, like, yes, he's sort of like the stern father, he's the one who's like, don't play with that, that ain't a toy, and, like, we saw that at the beginning with the communicator, and even when they went into Sid's office, she went to touch that, sort of, like, that sword thing, and he was like, no, 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 don't touch that, and even in the previous episode, I didn't catch it until I rewatched it, but then he, he helped her pick up the toy, and was, like, pointing out the little things about that doll, and I was like, oh, that's so cute, I didn't see that, I was too busy, like, thinking about him being a droid, or being, like, bought as a droid, and then I went back, and I was like, oh, wait, oh my god, that's, like, so cute, that he was with her. Um, so yeah, I think he's sort of like the stern father. Tech, Tech I feel like is the most like unemotional. I feel like he's more of a, like, um, what he called, what did he call Echo a couple of episodes, the first episode? He said more machine. I feel like Tech's more of a machine than Echo in all honesty. Echo, like, I feel like he has more personality than Tech, but, um, Tech is very, like, intelligent, which is fine, but I feel like <laughs> everything else is just like monotone, nothing, but yeah, and that's another not a bad thing. But at the same time, I'm like, I feel like uh, Echo has a bit more emotion. <laughs> but I love that they again that they're getting Omega more involved, like teaching her the tutorials and stuff of different things, and even just like giving her a communicator so that she's in the loop. So I really like that and love seeing that. So that's great character development over certain episodes. I wonder what's going to happen next though, because. That last part with Sid was very tense and Hunter, you know, like, Hunter is the leader of this group. Like, um, Crosshair said, like, he has to make all the decisions and if he's right, like, or wrong, like, he has to make a decision. So, yeah, it's gonna be interesting what he does, whether they do take up a bit of bounty hunting on the side just to get some credits or if they just continue to run and then just, I don't know, get credits in certain ways just to keep them off their feet. But I think they're going to have to do bounty hunting to try and get some money. Maybe not killing people. I mean, like, they're trained to do that, but I feel like they wouldn't do that. I feel like they'd do other jobs, depending on what it is. I feel like they'll take the job up. But yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see where the story goes next. Uh, I feel like we will see Finnick again soon. But um, in terms of the rest of the story, I'm still, like... Not sure where else this is going to go. But I am interested. Like, we obviously haven't seen too much of the stuff with Crosshair or the Empire. 
So I'm guessing we're going to see that very soon because obviously it's 16 episodes. So they have to obviously have content that we haven't seen from the trailers because I think right at this moment, we've seen majority of it, if not all of it. We haven't seen all of it though, I know that. But there is still a few scenes that we haven't seen from the teaser. I'm only basing it off the teaser. I haven't seen obviously the trailer. But the teaser, from what I remember, we've watched probably 80%? of what we've seen in that trailer from what I remember because Omega was not in the teaser at all like we had no idea and I only saw the poster for her when that trailer was posted I was like oh god who is this person and the, at first I thought it was a boy and then when we watched this episode I was like oh it's a girl um but um from what I remember teaser I think it's probably 80% maybe maybe 75% I don't know but I'll have to check um other than that yeah, it's going to be interesting where they take the story. Because they obviously have confirmed for season 2. So yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm guessing with the stuff we haven't seen yet and for the future episodes in this particular season, I think we're definitely going to see Rex. And sort of like, we're going to see, like I said before, with um, Rekka, I think we're going to see the effects of the chip. And maybe Rekka turning into someone who's not himself. Maybe he turns and says like, you know... Um, what's that saying that they say? Um, good soldiers follow orders. I think it's going to slowly turn into that. Not, like, straight away or just suddenly out of the blue. Maybe he gets another knock in the head or something and something goes wrong. And then suddenly he's like, what are we doing? We're not working with the Empire. And then they're like, what the frick is wrong with you, mate? Like, that's not what we're doing. We're running from the Empire. So that's where things, I think, are going to get very interesting no matter where the story goes. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens then because i definitely think that wrecker is going to be the one that forces them to use that scanner and then look at the chips more closely and see what it actually does and then get an understanding of what's happening to crosshair and then try and maybe oh, try and maybe save crosshair that's going to be very interesting and yeah no matter what happens i'm very excited but that's sort of like the theory i have in my head for that particular one so i'm excited to see where it goes so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Bad Batch, episode 5, um, Rampage. Let me know your thoughts on the future of the series, um, whether, like, what's gonna happen, maybe more stuff to do with the Empire, etc. I would love to hear your thoughts and everybody's thoughts on the series so far, even though we're not that far in. Wait... 816 yeah once we hit the eight <laughs> eight episode mark we'll be halfway through the season this is a long season i don't think i've done a season this long before for a series so this is fun i actually enjoy it on a friday it's quite nice relaxing the last thing i do sort of on my like daily list sort of before i relax and do everything else so yeah it's lots of fun but anyway <laughs> i'll stop the video there otherwise i'm going to be ranting more and more about the future of this particular series <laughs> so again thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy bingo out Woo!